Hey, what's going on guys? Well, recently I did a video uh, showing this silver. I did like an unboxing video. I got an interesting message and a question from a viewer who's kind of new to silver. And they asked me, how do I know that what it says on these bars, like this is a 10 troy ounce bar, how do I know it weighs 10 troy ounces? Well, there's a very simple answer to that. You gotta weigh it yourself. So that being said, I think your number one tool in your arsenal if you're going to be uh, investing in precious metals, whether it's a hobby or a financial decision, uh, you have to invest in a scale. Okay, cheap digital scales uh, work fine. I highly, highly recommend that if you're going to get a scale to also get a calibrating weight set or get yourself two scales. Uh, these things are really cheap. You'd be surprised how affordable these are these days. Very important though, when you're getting a scale, make sure that it has a troy ounce and gram function. This one has grams, ounces, troy ounces are OZT, and then this one happens to have diamond weight, I think, and carat weight, and I don't even really know what the last one is. But um, it has a variety of different types of weights. You don't want to weigh your precious metals in standard ounces. It has to be troy ounces, okay? Uh, but yeah, this is a very important tool. And what kind of brought up this uh, conversation was uh, someone saw my other video and they had a question. They said the back of that bar, it looks a little bit messed up, like it's a little chewed up. He said, doesn't that mean that there's silver missing? How do you really know it's still 10 ounces? It's probably less. And I answered him with uh, a very simple response that I weighed it. That's how I know. Uh, I think it would be extremely rare to get something like this, like a 10 ounce bar that's marked from a reputable company and not have it weigh what it says. Uh, I do find that it would be extremely rare. I've never run into that. Every piece of silver I've ever purchased, um, traded for, whatever, every piece of silver I've ever had weighed exactly what it said it was supposed to weigh. Um, if you go like on eBay or I guess some, uh, some shops that sell metals and stuff, occasionally you will have a hand poured bar. In other words, it's not coming from a company. This is coming from a, a major uh, precious metals company. So there is a reputation there. There is a, um, you know, an insurance that the, uh, the amounts are correct and it is in fact real silver. But uh, if someone hand pours some silver at home and stamps it, yeah, they could literally put on whatever they want on there. And there's always going to be room for deceit. There's always going to be people trying to, uh, you know, lie to you. So it's good to question things. It's good to, to ask these questions. Hey, this says it's 10 ounces. How do I know? Well, easy solution. Get yourself a scale and weigh it. That's what we do real quick here. Um, I have uh, weighed all of the silver I've ever gotten to ensure that it is, in fact, the correct weight. All right, guys, so I zoomed in here. I just want to show you that it is on the troy ounce setting. Uh, maybe a little bit hard to tell because it's angled, but it's pointed towards troy ounces, OZT. All right, make sure we're back on zero. So we're gonna measure uh, or weigh rather two of these. First, the 10 ounce. So it should be 10 troy ounces. And it is almost exact, down to 1 one hundredth of a uh, troy ounce, <laughs> okay? Let's do that again, make sure it's consistent. Get down to zero. And there you have it. Almost exactly 10 troy ounces. Even though the back is jacked up, they put the correct amount in every single bar. Now this skull is supposed to be a three troy ounce skull. Okay, or art piece you would call it. So let's make sure that is correct, we're at zero. And there you go. This one actually has a little bit extra silver in it. It's 3.017, so it's 17 hundredths uh, extra silver, I guess you would say, of troy ounces. Really insignificant, but um, again, let's get down to zero. Make sure this is consistent. And there you go, 3.01. Now for this bar, this is 38 grams, because it's a 38 caliber pistol. And we want to go to our gram setting here which is on top, you can see that, and this should come up 38 grams. And there you go, it's actually a little bit over, 38.44. Try that again, get down to zero, and consistent, 38.44 grams. So yeah, uh, the simple solution here is to just wait yourself, just to ensure that you are getting what you're paying for. Um, I always think it's important to not just trust, you know, these things. Like I said, if you got this from someone says 10 troy ounces, you have to assume, yeah, sure, it's 10 troy ounces. I mean, you can have obvious uh, questionable pieces 
if you had a piece like this and it was marked 10 troy ounces, you know, when you start getting used to silver, you can get an idea for how heavy things are or just looking at it, it's physical mass. There's no way there's 10 troy ounces there. As for which scale to get, uh, I find that they all work fine. This is my third scale. The first one I lost in a move from my first house to this house. Um, and the second scale I dropped on a hard surface, so it broke. Um, but each time I got a different model, they all work great. Uh, this one I think I got on Amazon. If I could find it, I'll put links in the description box. Um, but you know, eBay is good, just wherever, it doesn't really matter. You could probably go down to uh, you know, a brick and mortar store and pick one of these up as well. I just off the top of my head can't think of where you'd get one of these, but maybe a Radio Shack or something like that, something similar. But anyway, that's all. Just want to make a video on that. Um, yeah, you don't always have to trust what it says on there. You know, wait yourself. So, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.